What's happening, folks? It's Unhost here, and welcome to episode 27 of Let's Play Minecraft on the native server. I am joined by Doc Redstone. What's happening, dude? How's it going? Not too bad, man. We are just working on an ice farm design here, uh, originally inspired by uh, a few of my buddies, uh, Wooby, JL, and um, Doc decided to leave. So <laughs> <laughs> I was being attacked by some mob that wasn't there. Oh, God. We need to find the find the invisible mob. How are you? Okay. Right, let's see. Well, as you guys can see, uh, this looks like a waffle fry from Chick-fil-A right here, but do, do, you want to get, <laughs> do you want to get rid of this this ice here, or do you want to keep it here? Uh, yeah, I just didn't have my silk touch pick on me, so. Okay. Yeah, I just enchanted this thing. Uh, it's looking good. Silk touch one, efficiency four, unbreaking three. That's very decent. Uh, we'll silk touch all this ice up real quick, and Basically, uh, the, the the simple math behind this is uh, your <coughs> excuse me. Um, I guess when you oh you've got other dispensers over here. When you dispense water out from a couple oops I'm stuck down here. When you dispense water out from the dispensers shown, you will be able to uh, form uh, or make make this entire sort of lake here a uh, one big source block. Everything's going to be a source block. So. Obviously, only source blocks freeze, and let's see, let's get rid of this, this ice. <coughs> Excuse me. Snow is one of the only blocks, if not the only block, that is not affected by efficiency on picks. So, we decided to use snow to, let's see, is there a way to extend all the pistons? Should um, yeah, here, let me go hit them. Yeah, no problem. Real quick. Um, Actually, but, I think, oh no, I got rid of the button, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no problem, no problem. <laughs> Uh, but source blocks freeze quicker, or I'm pretty sure they only freeze whenever they're touching another block. So if we were to just have a simple pond here, which is full of water, uh, only the only the blocks on the side would freeze first. I, I'm pretty sure I've done a couple tests. I haven't really done extensive testing, but uh, it helps a lot. Yep, there we go. As you guys can see, uh, all the water will sort of make a, uh, like I said, a lot of source blocks. Let's kill this zombie. Boss sword's almost gone. Um, but yeah. All the source blocks will then freeze, and they will freeze very fast. And once we're done with that, we will mine them all up and uh, rinse and repeat. So we're still working on the design. It's still obviously looking a little bit uh, bland and, yeah, obviously not ready, but it'll be done soon. Um, we will work on that. Doc's got a good idea that he got in first uh, single player. Sorry, not first player. Um, it started to snow, so I'm going to pause recording, and we're going to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and we'll be back. Okay, so well, we've we think we got it fixed. Or, or uh, Doc thinks he's got what he uh, made in single player down to a science, and we're gonna go check out the wiring and everything. Uh, it's a little sloppy. It's actually not that bad though. It's actually looking pretty good. You look you look like you're poisoned there, sir. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Feeding off zombie flesh. Oh god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> running out of my pork chops. I really wish lamb dropped lambs dropped uh, either lamb chops or mutton. That'd be nice. Yeah, I got into a long conversation with uh, one of my buddies about that. Yeah. Um, so as you guys can see here, uh, all of all of these pistons here are connected to snow blocks above, and those are pushed up because I think I explained earlier in the video that when uh, a water source is touching a block, it freezes much faster. Um, but that is all of my knowledge to this so far, uh, besides the fact that we've got them all hooked up to a single circuit. And Doc, if you want to let everybody know what you have come up with. Yeah, um, what I did was just uh, pretty simple down here. Um, so by default, all the pistons are extended, because um, like on host head, uh, the ice freezes uh, much quicker that way. Um, so over here I have a just a simple T flip flop design. I think it's the most basic. Um, so when we press the button, um, the power comes through this uh, repeater and flips the T flip flop, um, d retracting all the pistons. Um, and then after one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So after a four second delay, um, the repeaters um, get back over here and flip the T flip flop again and just push the. Uh, blocks or the pistons back up and yeah. they unretract. So this is a pulse extender or right here, right? Um pretty much, yeah. yeah. I okay. could have done it with an R snore latch, but yeah. yeah. I was just yeah, pulse whatever. Extender. Yeah, so basically this when the button's pressed, you know, it, it immediately uh immediately um, 
sends a pulse to the flip, T flip flop, uh, and then the uh, the charge is kept until um, yeah, all the repeaters get done. So that's that is a I, I always have a, an awful time explaining uh, from the redstone stuff, but yeah, this whenever whenever the <clears throat> Uh, current is done traveling through all the repeaters here. Uh, obviously, it will um, bring it. What does it do? It puts the it puts the pistons back extended, right? Yeah. Okay. And so there we uh, extend it up so the ice can freeze quicker. Awesome. So I think that's that's about it. Should we should we try it out? See if it works. Yeah. Let's. Yeah. Let's see if. I did all this for nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually filmed a small episode before this, and the file went corrupt. I tried to watch it, and it was some kind of weird WAV file. And um, we had a lot of trials and tribulations trying to make this thing. Uh, I had one working, but you had to like flip a lever, push a button, and do something else. So it was kind of annoying. And Doc said uh, that he'd like to try to get it all in one swift button push, and I thought that was a brilliant idea. So we're going to see if that works. This is the moment of truth, guys. Go ahead, press that button. Let's see if it works. Shall we? Shall we pray real quick? Yes. <laughs> Let's hold hands, gather around. Lord right. in heaven, please let this fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Come on. Oh, oh. I think we got it. Yes. Oh, that is oh. that is beautiful. Look at that. That is. Dude, that was perfect. <laughs> nice. That was per dude. Nice. Nice thinking. That was. That's brilliant. That's high five. Oh. <laughs> you don't, don't want to be high five in the boss sword. Dude, this is that that was perfect. That was absolutely perfect. So Nice. I'm glad that worked. Yes, that that was just perfect. So yeah guys, as you can see, this freezes really fast and this should all be frozen within I don't know, maybe three to four minutes. And yeah, I think it gives you about two stacks of ice blocks. So that's just a really quick, uh quick and easy actually it wasn't very easy, but took a took a lot of time <laughs> took a lot of time and stuff. But um yeah, like I said, well, let's let's wait for it to freeze real quick, and then see if this see if that works. Because we we have to go and mine it all up, and actually, there's no reason it shouldn't work. But the only thing we, we tried to do last time was lower the pistons and uh, go in and individually get all the ice. But the reason we have ice blocks here is because, like I said, it's not affected by efficiency, so it doesn't take you know as quick as ice to break. So, uh, yeah, that is that. So you would have to leave the pistons up when you're mining through all of the ice, but uh, yeah, that is all she wrote, and this is gonna be beautiful. Let's, let's we're probably gonna put a, like a big housing, a big casing around this, as well as the sand duplicator. Uh, I think, I think the sand duplicator. I think that's what is. I have no idea what his name is. I think it's like test one two three e five nine or something. Came with the design, but I don't know. The irony is, I thought I found this design by myself. Oh, this one right here. Yeah, I didn't realize this was even the design that I had up on my channel um, oh, until yeah. I came over at Spawn, and I was like, oh, dude, dang it, I wasn't <laughs> the first to come up with this. <laughs> yeah, I, I I had seen the design, and I tried to get it to work, and I found out it was, I, f I forget what the word is, uh, it's like hex, hex is something, but it, it, it basically means that you can only make this in random locations, and sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does. Uh, there's no yeah. formula to it. It's just it might work, it might not, it might stop working, but uh, yeah, that's as, that's as well as I can explain it. Um, it's like, I, I, I can't think of the word, but um, but yeah, this, this design here. If you guys want to uh, look at the design, go ahead and check out Doc's channel. You can see how to build it. I uh, watched the video. He does a good job of explaining how to do it. So if you want to check out how to build this, it does produce infinite sand. A uh, little bit laggy. That's alright, though. Uh, because you get un unlimited sand. And I guess we'll keep this... I guess we'll keep the server on pre-release and just... I'm literally going to leave this on for as long as I can so that we can uh, stack up on sand and stuff because it is a bitch collecting sand but otherwise um but yeah we'll move on to another project for the rest of the episode and i'll see you guys uh whatever i think of next all right so as you guys can see the pond is completely frozen and it, i'm gonna have a little bit of lag because the sand machine's going so sorry about that um let's just collect all this and we're not gonna have any problems with um any of this, this, the snow blocks disappearing with the efficiency picks, not a problem at all. Um, let's see. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I don't. Th maybe there is a way that we can.
have these down while we harvest them, maybe? Hmm. Not sure. Because it would be easier, we can just do like a swift swoop throughout the Yeah. Line. But, yeah, for now, this is this is how it's working. I had, I think I had a stack and 43 on me, so we'll see exactly how much this harvest. I think it's, I think it's right at three stacks, but we'll see, like I said. Just go ahead and harvest all this. Do, do, do. Okay. I think over there, whoa. I thought, I thought that was somebody on top of that. Uh... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just a zombie. Yeah, wearing some diamond gear. No. He's trying to be a martyr. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, I think he's making a pub. Like some, some of these guys making stuff that you can't really use in Minecraft. Like, what is he gonna do? Sell, sell milk out of there? Who knows? There's a creeper on the front of it, looking like he's about to jump. Oh shit! Don't do Maybe it. I'll encourage him. Come on, yeah. jump, <laughs> jump. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we have looks like it looks like about two stacks and ten. Two stacks plus ten. So we got we got a fair amount of of ice from that. So obviously we'll press the button again and it should work. I really hope it does all over again. Let's try it out. Oh one of the buckets got out. But besides that Oh so. How did that even happen? Hmm. Oh, it looks like it never retracted any water. That's probably what it is. Yeah, I'll put it. I'll put it back in. No problem. Let's see. If we... Oh, it wasn't there. Uh, I've got some it? water on me. Oh, cool. Um, there we go. Yeah. So, so that 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 basically worked. I mean, it was ninety-five percent working. Um, but yeah, looks pretty cool. And all that stuff. So, um, we were thinking about something during while we were making this freeze. Um last username if you're watching this video can you please explain your mob trap to us Oop, I think we got a bunch of entities on the ground I'm lagging pretty hard yeah same here Let's see this this whole stacking thing Oop. oh yeah do, do you want to do you want to explain what you were talking about the the etho test thing that I thought that was pretty interesting oh yeah well if anybody doesn't watch etho the one percent of youtube <laughs> <laughs> minecrafters whatever um but with the new stacking 1.3 if there's an item on the ground um and then it's you know spawning it's been there for like four minutes and another item falls and happens to merge into that item's stack since the items stack when they're on the ground now um that new item only has a minute of uh time until it despawns as well so yeah that's super strange like if you had like if we turned off this machine and all those items on the ground just had one minute to, um, you know, to dissolve or delete itself, then if we were to have another stack in there, then it would only have a minute left. But my question is, let's see, how many can be in a stack at one time? Do you know? I think it's only 64, kind of like uh, normal item stacking. Yeah, I thought it, I thought it was I thought it was like less. I thought it was actually thought it was like 16, but I, I I'm probably wrong. I I have no I think proof. they all correspond correctly to what they do because uh ender pearls can only get in a stack of 16. And I think oh. so whatever they can do in your inventory, they can only do on the ground. Right, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, so, someone said something funny in the the native Skype chat. Um if Jeb logs on the server, what are we gonna say if he sees the same machine? Yeah, <laughs> I, th I think that was me. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was Lemmy yeah, or yeah. Limby who said <laughs> giant butt switch. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a giant butt switch. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, we definitely need. Um, do you have any? Do you have any wood on you by chance? Um, let's see. I think I put some in those chests over by the uh, ice machine. Oh, um, let me see. <coughs> Go get those real quick. Okay, so we've got one farm. No, we got one, two. I think we got two farms down. Uh, we're gonna work on a couple more farms. I want to get a, a really unique design for pumpkins and melons. Um, I'm not sure if you have any uh, ideas, Doc, for that. Um, but I also want to get a different design besides what we have in the Nether for Nether warts. And I've I've really been trying hard on a cocoa bean farm design that's. Um, a little different from anything else out there. I'd really like to come up with some original stuff. Uh, only that it's 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 kind of hard to do that because a lot of the stuff has been uh, you know thought up. Uh, me and Rainbow are going to do our 
I don't know if you guys remember from like episode three of our Let's Play, we we had a really good idea for a uh, a wheat farm where it where it kind of cycled through with a piston tape. Um, it cycled through different colors and showed you if it was done or not. Uh, but we uh, we will build that pretty soon. Rainbow's still sick, so he's only online uh, ever so often. But um, we'll be back. Alrighty, so oh, what the hell? We are finishing up. Uh, the the episode right now we are collecting an awful lot of sand and yeah we're gonna even collect we're gonna collect even more sand and I don't know I was thinking um, it, it, the more chest you have in your world or the mo more chest you have in the loaded chunks uh, the more laggy it is and if you use dispensers they do not lag your server at all uh, that was another another thing you might not know about Minecraft just in case you guys wanted to know um, I don't know. I was thinking about making a big, massive storage out of out of uh, dispensers, but that'll that'll be for next episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we'll be back episode twenty-eight very shortly, very soon. So, thanks for joining. Adios, guys. Peace out.